I'm just calling this mod the capacitor bell and it's a Franklin's bell but instead of running it on uh, like a Van de Graaff generator or some sort of other static electricity source I'm running it on a high voltage capacitor and uh, that's the uh, value of the capacitor um, I went away from these capacitors here they, the microfarad rating was too high and the voltage was too low and it was a dangerous shock and I risked the uh, possibility of blowing it up when I charged it up with this bug zapper using a couple of AA batteries, 3 volts. Uh, this is over 700 volts in that cap. Uh, that cap there is approximately the same value as that cap there. There, a couple thousand volts, uh, 0.015 microfarad. But what's interesting about this is um, that's a jingle bell and you notice that it's not touching the two uh, little metal bowls. Those are condiment bowls. You get them at Walmart. Uh, they, they have condiments in them at a restaurant. And that jingle bell is just hung by a thread. This is standard Franklin's bell, basically, but it runs on a capacitor. And I just thought this was interesting. And this particular value cap will run for 20-30 minutes is all. It's not a long running thing. Um, like I showed with this thing here, which ran uh, the last, the best one was five hours on that one setup using the, the coil. But uh, it was dangerous. The shocks I was getting off of that were very, very harsh. So I went back to a uh, higher voltage but lower capacity capacitor for this little device here. And this is real neat. And uh, like I say, it's just energy stored in that capacitor, and it's high voltage but low microfarad. It's not low, low, low like pico or nanofarad, but it's it's lower than what I was using here, which was uh, too much for what I was using as far as voltage. But it sets up this charge, and this charge lets the bell work. And you know what I was thinking about here? Uh, as soon as I built this, I thought about Ed Leedskalnen and his ring the bell twice statement. And I just wonder if old Ed knew something about static electricity. And uh, they have a lot of lightning in Florida. And uh, there was something about this ringing of the bell because they knew about the Franklin Bells back in his day. And I just wonder if he built one of these and uh, noticed that... Uh, it was very, very interesting. There's nothing I've read about him working with static electricity like this, but it wouldn't be hard for him to do. And maybe there's something in this that we ought to study. That's a real interesting little device right there. I've had a lot of fun looking at that and studying it. Thanks for watching.